my god, I need a haircut. Foof. Let me just... Let me, let me just... That's so much better. What's up, guys? Welcome back to another video. If you don't know me, my name is Chance, and welcome to my channel, Local Boy Finance. We talk about financial independence, uh, personal finance, and stock investing. So today's video, I'm going to share with you my entire stock portfolio that basically whatever I've invested in throughout my retirement accounts and even my brokerage accounts um, just to be more transparent with you guys and to see how you're doing but honestly I'm catching cracks in the market and cracks meaning I am down a lot so this is what I've been doing and just kind of what I've been following um, for the past two months since this whole Roni situation has started but I just wanted to share with you my personal portfolio about every single stock I own, how many shares, and how much I'm really actually down. And I hope this helps. I hope this shows you that it's not all about making money in the market. Sometimes you're going to be in situations like this. And the best thing you can do, honestly, is actually do nothing, really. And keep buying some more just to average your price down. Also, guys, I've started a new Patreon page. So basically what a Patreon is, it allows creates content creators like myself. Um, if you are interested in supporting my channel and you know maybe you don't want to follow my YouTube channel or whatnot, which please do, please subscribe um, and like the videos. But you can actually donate money to my Patreon account, which helps this channel build. Anyway, please be a subscriber if you can. Help out that way as, as a Patreon. And also do, I do offer some insight in you know a higher type of subscription where for a month-to-month -month basis i'll show you what i've been buying for the past for the past month and then also what i've been looking at and my in growth and my growth stocks that I'm, I'm trying to acquire and just more research data and i'm sharing that with you in that type of a subscription account so go check it out patreon it's in the link description below so thank you for your support so how i'm going to do this now is i'm going to start with my brokerage account with robin hood okay as you can see right here, we have 33,218. That was on February 19, 2020, right before the whole stock market crash. Um, I was up pretty big, um, which was nice. I was up maybe $9,000, which was pretty awesome, right? Um, and then came the crash. And my account went from 33 to 18,000, and that's the all time. So I'm negative 19%, which is actually that's not that bad um, as a as my portfolio as a whole, just for my brokerage account. But as you can see on the right side, my three investments are Win Resorts, Revolve, Group, and Carnival Cruise Line. And we'll go into depth on how much shares and what my price, uh, my average price cost is for each one of them. So we're looking at my Win Resorts. Um, currently, as of this trading day, it's around seven dollars and seventy dollars and fifty cents. Um, my cost um, for entire whole in investing in this stock is twelve thousand. Um, dollars and forty uh, twelve thousand and forty four dollars and forty five cents um, my total return right now I'm down three thousand sixty six dollars and eighty five cents for this one okay that's my first um, stock that I'm down and I've spoken about Win Resorts before Win Resorts is a hotel company one of the top dogs or creme de la creme hotel companies in Vegas and also in Macau and they just recently opened in Boston so that's my first one uh, I have this stock across you know three other uh, accounts that I have so just keep that in mind I'm down about three grand in this one my next investment in my portfolio um, in my brokerage account is Revolve Group currently they're trading at ten dollars and thirty five cents um, my cost average is around seven thousand dollars and right now my total return I'm down about 24% and that is $1,700 roughly I'm down so we'll add that to how much I'm down right now Revolve Group if you don't if you haven't watched my videos and you're new here Revolve Group is basically a, a re, like a fashion company where they use social influencers to use advertising to get their products out and by doing that it's very beneficial because most uh, generation Z type of individuals follow these people in the masses uh, you know millions and millions of followers so they have a huge stake in helping push different type of online fashion trends you know throughout the world so Revolve Group that's my other um, group I, uh, my other stock I have and I have around 510 shares of it so I'm pretty big on this position and also I have this 
as well across my other accounts. So um, just keep that in mind as well. Last stock in my regular brokerage account for Robinhood, I have CCCL, Carnival Cruise Line. Um, this one I'm taking a fat beating, um, honestly, and you might have heard things in the other past videos that this company was on the verge of bankruptcy, which it, which it was. Recently, they got kind of, uh, they got a loan for $6 billion. And then on top of that, the Saudi Arabia has bought an 8% stake in it. Um, so they're okay now, but this was on the verge of bankruptcy just because they're not a U.S. Um, based company. They're in Panama to avoid taxes. But anyway, so right now, currently, the trading price is $12.78. Um, my total cost is 10 grand around inside this stock already, but my total return right now, I'm down like 58%. So that means I'm down like almost six grand in this stock. Um, I have about 333 shares and my dollar, my cost average is about $30 and 53 cents. I would like to buy more. I'm a little hesitant right now just because I just want to wait to see what the market does within the next two weeks, because I have a huge feeling that. The, the economy is in its shambles and the government is trying to stimulate or even trying to stabilize the market and I think it's not going to happen. As much money as they've thrown in, I heard they just thrown in another additional um, like $3 billion or something or $3 million or something like that to small businesses and it, it's, a, it's a mess right now. So um, I also have this across my other brokerage accounts and um, just keep that in mind as well. Just from my Robinhood account, I am down $10,713.79 in my Robinhood account alone. Anyway, I'm not selling out. If anything, I'm buying more. So that's kind of where my position is and how much I'm down in just that brokerage account. Now we're gonna move on to my Fidelity accounts. Okay, so we're now in my Fidelity accounts. I have a regular brokerage account and I have my Roth IRA account. So we're going to go over my ro my regular brokerage account and my Fidelity account. So as of now, my first stock we'll look at is CCL. Again, like I mentioned, um, Carnival Cruise Corporation. I have about 18 shares of that. Uh, my cost basis is $24.56. And my current value uh, when I for the, for the stock as a whole is $223.56. Right now, currently, I've lost or I'm down $218.51. Um, and that's just one of my stocks. The next one we're looking at is Full Locker, ticker symbol FL. Um, I've only bought five shares of this one. My share cost basis is $30.27. So obviously I bought it a little bit early because right now they're trading around um, $25. But again, I'm gonna add more shares to it. I've only had maybe $700 put into this account. And the reason for it is because Robinhood crashed at one point in time during this whole mess early in early March. And I was like, I needed to get money in to buy more stocks. So I went this route and I think I'm gonna stick with this route from now on. Uh, eventually when the stock prices raise, I'm gonna probably get out of my Robinhood accounts and just move towards uh, more fidelity just because of that situation. But anyway, so, Right now, I'm only down $26.33 in Foot Locker, but definitely a good play on dividends. And if you don't know what Foot Locker is, they own Champs, East Bay, and that kind of stuff. The reason why I really like this company is not just because of their, their um, the products that they hold, but actually they are going into online sales and they recently bought Goat. If you're not familiar with Goat, it's, um, it's a, kind of like a resale of shoes and different type of apparel. And um, a lot of the Generation Z hype beasts, they call them, uh, people like to use that and to resell their Jordans and whatnot. So um, definitely cool play on Foot Locker's take, but I like that company. Um, we're moving on to the next one, VZ Rocks. That's just an index fund that I was invested in before. Um, I obviously don't even have a share of it, but if you're looking in, the, in index funds or ETFs and for, VZ Rocks is actually a good one just because they don't pay any um, commission fees, right? Fidelity zero commission fees. And on top of that, they don't have it. This index fund especially doesn't have any um, expense ratios. So if you want more information about that, go check out the link above. I'm going to put it for retirement accounts, and which is a great stock, a great index fund because you have no expenses for it, really. You're just putting your 100% of your money in 
and you're getting a, um, a good return off of your money. So there's no expenses. So they're not taking money away from you in any way, shape or form. Okay, so take a look into that one if you want to. Uh, I used to own it, but I, I've taken uh, the more stock picking approach for my portfolio anyway. So, okay, moving on to the next one is ticker symbol PLNF, uh, NHF, excuse me, uh, Planet 13 Holdings. And what Planet 13 Holdings is, is a, it's my speculation play. And what speculation play I mean is it's marijuana stocks. And uh, <laughs> um, a little bit of history about that. If you're in living in Vegas and you've on the strip, go check out Planet 13 Hold, Planet 13, the company. They're basically the largest um, cannabis store in the world, basically, where they're offering all types of products. They have great brands. We've checked it out recently just to go see, because, you know, obviously if I'm a shareholder, I want to see what's going on with the company. Um, and when we, when we recently went to Vegas, we checked it out and I thought it was cool. They have you know, they have everything from, you know, vaporizers and all that kind of stuff to even having their own cafe where you can order drinks and food and just kind of hang out spot. So very cool place. Um, they're only trading at a, you know, a dollar. So I bought 89 shares of them. Um, and it's really my speculation play. My cost average on this one is $1.19 a share. So I'm only down $16.64. So I'll probably buy more as a cost, as you know, things get worse, I believe. So I'm definitely going to add more of those shares, but it's just, you know, a speculation place. So I don't expect to make uh, money off of it, to be honest with you. I want to make money off of it, but, you know, it's it's something where it's very high risk, but, you know, high risk, high reward. So we'll see about that. The, the company is doing well, so, and, and they're expanding, expanding to L.A., so we'll see what happens. Oh, yeah, it's coffee. Oh, it's the coffee I need in the morning. Okay. New scenery now. Okay, so moving on to my Roth IRA account, we're looking at, again, CCL. Um, I know I have it all over my accounts uh, just because they're a dividend play. But anyway, uh, my cost average on this one is $39.82. Uh, I have about 133 shares in this account. Um, my current value is about $1,600, and I'm down right now uh, about $3,600. So catching cracks in that one. Um, again, I'll probably add more shares, especially since the stimulus check are coming. So I'm just going to throw that in that one. Um, so I'm not going to go over that one too, uh, too, uh, too much. Uh, my next stock is Elf Beauty Incorporated. Um, again, if you haven't watched my other videos, Elf is a cosmetic brand where they are in department stores and easy access for women. Um, and right now they're trading at uh, $10.76 before the market crashed and before February it was at like $20 so I got in at $8.49 per share I have about 23 shares I kind of want to add more to this but it's kind of at a price if they get under $9 I'll add more again um, right now it's my only position that I'm in green and up um, $52.08 um, and yeah my my cost average my total cost is $247.48 okay my next stock um, is iRobot Corporation and again iRobot is uh, they develop robotic vacuum cleaners basically um, they were hit by the China tariffs way before and then this happened so they're getting kind of crushed right now uh, my dollar cost average is $50.84 per share I have about um, 120 shares so this one I'm kind of high in because I long term I think this is going to be very a great play on my uh, on the behalf because they were trading at $130 way before um, before all this nonsense so my um, average my total cost for this one is five five thousand seven hundred sixty dollars and right now currently I'm only down three hundred forty one dollars if I could if if the market comes up to like fifty dollars or if I can sell out I might short this stock just because I've seen it get down to low 40s and I would love to get in at low 40s so I might short the stock. I know it's it's not a s smart thing to do but I have a feeling since right now the market is currently high because it's trading at $48 so I'm only like a few dollars shy so I might do that to see. Um, next stock, um, Planet 13 Holdings. I have a substantial amount of shares in this one. 
I threw about like $450 in it. Right now my share price is $1.90. Um, I have about 454 shares on this one. Uh, my total cost is $455. And right now I'm down $409. So obviously I can have more shares. That was a cheap one and a spec play. So I, I really, it doesn't matter to me right now. Um, next stop, Revolve. Okay. Uh, same thing, I have 91 shares of it. My dollar cost average is $16.32. Um, about $1,485 is my total cost on it. And then um, I'm down around $562. Um, my next stock is Tesla. And Tesla is one of my favorite stocks. I was very, it's one of my biggest mistakes. I'll probably go over, I'll probably go over it in another video for you guys about my first um, mess up in the stock market. And I don't mean by like, I lost a lot of money, but let's just say I lost the opportunity to make a lot of money. And that's kind of, um, that's for another video. But anyway, so my cost average is $7, I mean $708 per share. Um, I have about six shares and I'm down around uh, $811. So it's not too bad. And I'll give you another story on that one. But Tesla, obviously, you see them. They create the electric vehicles that are just beautiful, sleek, and whatnot. Elon Musk is their, um, you know, their leader of the company. And he's, he's a phenomenal man, a uh, smart man. And also, they dabble in, you know, solar panels, energy um, batteries, and th the whole type of things. And I could go on and on about them. But moving on. Uber Technologies, um, ticker symbol E-U-B-E-R. Uh, I'm definitely bullish on this long term as well. My cost average is $33.92. I have about 20 shares. I would like to add more. Uh, right now, they're only trading at $27. But I've seen them at the at the peak of this crash. It was at $13, which is just disgusting. But I didn't have the funds for it at the time. <laughs> I would have bought a, a crap ton if I could. Um, you know, Uber, you've heard of them. They're uh, a transportation type of taxi um, share riding service. So I'm not going to go into too much detail on that one, but definitely bullish long term within the next one or two years. Really excited about that one. And lastly, in my Roth IRA is Win Resorts. Again, I have 15 shares. My dollar cost average is $119.74. So I'm catching cracks on that one too. Um, I'm down around $736.30. So overall, across my whole fidelity account right now including the brokerage account and the roth ira account i am down six thousand five hundred sixty eight dollars and eighty seven cents okay we'll add that amount to the previous amount which is around 17 grand right now okay just to give you an idea on what's going on in my portfolio now we're going to move on to my traditional ira which i'm not really like i don't really care too much about it just because it's from my um, employer and there's only so much I'm limited to do there it, it, it's kind of a, a silly situation just because they, they charge commission fees and on top of that like whenever you make a stock trade they charge that as well and then it, it's just a hassle so we're looking at my prudential account it's kind of like a traditional IRA account and basically I'm down around 33% so looking at the eight thousand two hundred eleven dollars and forty seven cents I vested in that is not true. I've invested in way more and um, <laughs> it's just catching cracks, that's all. Um, so we're looking to how this works is basically whenever I put in money or my account gets, the money gets taken out of my paycheck already because since, since this is pre-tax, right? And it goes into this account and basically it throws it into mutual funds that I choose. Now, if you haven't watched my other video about retirement accounts, you'll see why I don't like mutual funds. And this is specifically why as well. And I'll link that above. But anyway, so I've chosen Vanguard Target Group 2055 fund. And I have majority of 25% of my allocation into that. So um, automatically the money goes into that account. And then what happens is I can take the money from that account and move it into a self-directed account where I can trade stocks. Now... The problem is, is that you have to do it in $500 increments. And currently, since the market is down, I don't want to sell those shares and then move the money. That's just stupid. So I'm just kind of leaving it in there. And, you know, I just, 
I haven't done anything in this account, honestly, just because it's, it's such a hassle. So, but anyway, I have around 2100 um, my value is $2,100 in the Vanguard Institution Target Retirement Fund. But if you look into my self-directed account where I moved money over before all this happened, um, obviously I have the big four or the main three you've always seen across all across my, um, my accounts is CCL. I'm down around $1,397.68 um, in that one. Uh, I have about 42 shares there. iRobot, uh, I am down around $145, which isn't too bad. Um, I have Revolve, another one, I'm only down $2.71. And then I have Win Resorts, as you can see, I'm down um, $21.70, um, which a total of that account is $3,716.14. So we'll add all those together. Drum roll, please. Officially, I am down $20,998.80 across the whole entire accounts that I have. Um, and how I feel about it, I really could care less, honestly. Um, <laughs> and the reason why I say that is because I ain't retiring anytime soon. Um, again, this is just my retirement accounts and maybe my two brokerage accounts. You know, I can pull out the money and whatnot, but... I'm not going to, there's no point to, and I don't want to hit with capital gains tax as well. So if I do, it would be for a house, and that's pretty much what this would be for anyway. But other than that, I want to make money off of it, off of dividends. So I'm down just 20 Gs. I'm okay with that. I'm not freaking out. Um, if anything, I'm going to be buying more and just to average my price down. But just to show some transparency, transparency with you guys is that um, no matter how much you're down, if you do the proper research, if you have confidence in the company, if you have confidence in the CEOs that own, that operate the company and the business model and you understand everything, you know, you, sh you shouldn't have a problem of being fearful. And really the only issue is that people invest in something they heard from their auntie, tutu, mothers, whoever, and they invest and they see that they're down and they, they, they freak out and they sell out. No, I'm, and that's how they lose their money. I'm just down. I'm not, doesn't mean I lost the money. I'm just down. So, again, this is just to show you guys some transparency and what I've been doing. And, you know, I'm down. I'll be honest with you. And it is what it is. Now I'm just going to ride it out and keep buying more whenever the market goes lower. But, anyway, I hope this helps you guys. I hope this shows you my entire stock portfolio and what I've been doing. And even if I'm making money and if I'm down money, this is just basically the stock market and if you can handle this, if you want to be in it, okay? So I'll give you guys more updates as the months go by and the weeks go by um, just to see how my accounts are doing. But I hope you guys like the video. I hope you guys like, comment, and, and share this video with others. Like, I'm not the only one catching cracks in the market and whatnot. And and subscribe if you want. If you like the content and you you want to see more of this type of videos where I'm just giving you guys my transparent thoughts and documenting my own, you know, personal finance on what's going on. And this is honestly what it, what it is. It's just the market is in a recession and, you know, everybody's going to be down until you buy more. And obviously when the market comes back up, everything will be fine. But subscribe for more content and click that notification bell just to alert you whenever I create new videos. Um, this is actually a pretty fun video to make. I, you know, I just want to be transparent with you guys um, since you guys are starting to invest and, and hopefully you guys are getting to the mindset of, you know, putting your money away and building your, you know, your nest egg basically or multiple nest eggs if, if that. So, but thank you for watching the video. I know it was a kind of long video, but you guys take care. Aloha and have a great day. Okay.